Good morning. Good morning. You're looking really dapper in your holiday bling there. Thank you. Today we're going to talk about how to RSVP like an alcoholic. Don't you mean how to blow someone off like you did me with my invitation to the BYOR party? I don't even know what BYOR means. Bring your own rat. Duh. So, are you coming or not? Sorry, I can't. I'm busy that day. But I didn't tell you what day. My name's Sue. I'm an alcoholic. My name's Liam. I'm a drug addict. I drank and drugged for 25 years, been clean and sober for 18. We're just here to make suggestions, share tips that we use to stay in recovery. If you like what we're doing, please hit the subscribe button. And if you want to be notified about upcoming content, hit the bell button. That was my stock answer for years to any invitations to a social event. Sorry, I can't. I'm busy that day. Busy getting drunk all alone, like usual. Oh, sorry, I can't come to your party. My husband's sick. Sick and tired of you being drunk all the time. Oh, sorry, I can't. Company coming. Calling you weed guy company. Good one. Back in the old days when I was a little girl, we didn't have dispensaries for the reefer. You had to go to the weed guy or to Amsterdam. On the tenth week of Christmas, you got to drunk again. Ten lame excuses. None of my excuses were bold-faced lies, but they were duplicitous. How long you been waiting to drop that big boy word? It was always sorry, sorry, sorry. Can't, can't, can't. Lame. My life in recovery today, I'm trying to joyfully run the race. Not barely get by limping through life. So now what? Well, first I have to dump the powerless vocabulary. Words like can't. I'm trying to embrace my God-given free will. Yes, I will attend your party. Or no, I will not attend your party. What do you mean, try? Why don't you just do it? Because I can't is still a knee-jerk reaction for me. It's almost like my brain goes there on its own. So I have to catch that, take a deep breath, and think before I speak. And then say what? And then I defer the question. Let me check my calendar and I'll get back to you. When it's time to deliver my response, I keep it short, simple, and then I walk away. Yes, I will attend. May I bring anything? Or no, thank you, I will not attend, but have a good time. What about when you can't just walk away? Like they push you for more detail. You can't come. Why? Why not? What are you doing? That happens a lot. But I'm the manager of my own time now. It's none of your business. I don't have to justify my schedule choices. It's actually a boundary issue, and we're going to talk about that next year. You don't say none of your business, do you? Kinda. I say thank you. I will not be attending for personal reasons. Appreciate the invitation. Have a good time. How to RSVP like an alcoholic. It used to be all about guarding my precious drinking time, and I lied and made excuses to do it. I still hesitate about invites but I'm learning to respect that pause, to take a deep breath, think before I speak, manage my own time, so I can give straightforward, free will responses to invitations. So are you coming to my rat buffet party or no? I will not be coming. Thank you for the invitation. You and your rat breath friends have a good time.